hello everyone welcome to a new video it is me desiree and we are doing uh talking about some bioderma today i finally tried bioderma i bought this set at walgreens so where i moved i moved recently and uh my new walgreens like my walgreens is here like maybe two blocks away and they carry the honest brand i got a couple things from honest i got this they have their makeup in store and i never seen it at walgreens before and they also carried bioderma so I was like, holy crap, I can finally try Bioderma after all these years, you know? Remember when Bioderma came out, like the micellar water? And it blew everyone's minds, but no one in the States could get it, and it was a whole thing. Now it's easily available for us. But anyway, I got this set of Walgreens. It was $9.90. It came with the micellar water, a face cream, like a lotion, and an eye cream. I also bought a face wash and makeup remover wipes. So let's talk about, I don't know, just the wipes first. Uh, they are, uh, they're all the same line. So Bioderma seems to have like a line that was for sensitive skin, for acne. Um, this one was like, I think this was the sensitive one. Like the make, I think it was sensitive. I don't know. But I buy, I tried to buy all the stuff on the same line so I could test them out fairly, I guess. Anyway, um, it says, my cell solution, makeup removing wipes, soothes and cleanses, no rinse, paraben free, hypoallergenic. So I, I don't agree with the no rinse thing when you're using a makeup wipe or a cotton pad full of micellar water. I think that's kind of gross. I'd rather sleep in my makeup than take it off with a wipe and go, bed, go to bed. Like it feels gross. Like there's something gross on your face. Um, so the wipes are perfectly fine. They are really soft. They have enough uh, moisturizer, not moisturizer. They have enough of like the liquid, there's a cotton on my eyelash, on the wipes to remove enough makeup. You know, a wipe like this, I never expect one wipe to remove your entire face. You got to use multiple wipes if you want to do that. Plus I'm going to wash my face anyway. So I don't go out of my way to use a wipe like this to remove everything. Cause I just don't think it's really good for your skin. I do feel like I have to constantly kind of like rub at it and tug at it to get everything off. It doesn't irritate my eyes though at all. It was really nice to rub into the lash line. The only thing with wipes like this too, I, I'm not going out of my way to take mascara off with a wipe like this. They're definitely not saturated enough. Um, I have a different little process to remove mascara and I, I wouldn't go out of my way to remove mascara with a wipe like this. But these are perfectly fine if you're into makeup wipes. These are, you know, they're okay. Um, let me, oh yeah, I was just gonna say, let me see if they're biodegradable. Yes, biodegradable wipes, environmentally friendly, soap free. Yeah, these didn't irritate my skin whatsoever. They're, they're decent. They're probably the best thing I tried out of all this stuff. The next thing is this face wash. Oh my God, okay. It's called Soothing Micell Micellar Cleansing Foaming Gel. Moisturizes face and eyes, rinse off for sensitive skin. Uh, soap free, fragrance free, paraben, hypoallergenic, dermal patented. The directions on this stuff are so weird. There's like words in here. I'm like, what are they putting that on a face wash for? Um, so what does this sound like? It sounds like a micellar foaming cleanser. Like this, like my holy grail over here, the Garnier micellar foaming cleanser. I just finished this up actually. I freaking love this stuff. I buy it all the time. It works. It's the best. It removes my makeup all in one fell swoop. I don't have to use a separate cloth or a balm or anything or an oil, just face wash. Rub it all over your eyes and everything. It doesn't irritate. Gets the mascara off. I absolutely love this. I love this. I'll buy it as long as I make it. I love it. And this big old bottle was like almost the price of this. So I thought, hey, what a nice cost-effective alternative. If it's amazing, it's going to be like my new face wash. This is awful. I hate this face wash. I, I'm going to take it back. It's I, I hate it. Let me tell you all the reasons I hate it. So it doesn't foam at all ever no matter how much water how much a little bit of water how much friction like it does not ever foam it's a really gross slimy mucusy texture of a liquid oh my god it's so gross pump it in your hands you're just like slippery and sliding all this slime on your face hate that it doesn't remove makeup at all at all at all i rub it into my eyes i rub it all over my face I've tried it as a second cleanse, like just to see if it'll work. It does not get anything off. Doesn't take makeup off whatsoever. Really, really don't like it. Um, I mean, it's not even good, like, as a, like I said, as a second cleanse. I'll use something else to wash my face with that I'm like, let me just see if it's meant to use as a second cleanser. Because it does say you can remove makeup with it. Doesn't remove any makeup. Uh, no, 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 no. It also doesn't do anything for oiliness on your face. If you've gone all day long without washing your face, you've got sunscreen on, I was moving, I was sweating, I'm using this face wash, I wash my face, rinse it off, and I feel like, ugh, there's still something on my face. 
This is like really, really awful, really awful. It, the one redeeming quality of this though is that it really is truly like soothing and I would say kind of moisturizing on your skin. My skin felt insanely comfortable. It was so comfort comfortable. I didn't feel tight or dry or at all after using this. It wasn't stripping whatsoever. That's because it doesn't do anything for taking anything off of your face. I really freaking hate this. Ugh. It does say foaming gel. It does not foam at all. Uh, foaming gel gently cleanses, soothes, and moisturizes sensitive skin. It has soothing and fattening active ingredients. It rapidly calms irritation. Um, patented natural complex raises the tolerance threshold of the most sensitive skin. It's creamy foam leaves the skin soft and comfortable, can be used as makeup remover, excellent cutaneous and ocular tolerance. <sighs> uh, no, mm -mm. I hate, I hate that face wash. So anyway, let's get into this stuff. Oh, first up was the very famous Bioderma Micellar Water, the makeup removing micelle solution. Um... For all the hype that this gets, for how much I see people use this and in their empties have five bottles of it, this didn't do anything for me. I've been so disappointed with these products, I gotta tell you. Um, this doesn't remove makeup for me at all, whatsoever. I tried it on my eyes, it just freaking irritates my eyes. I feel like I have to rub, 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 rub to get the makeup to even like come off and I feel like I could have got that off with water. Like, I just did not, this didn't do anything for me. It didn't make, it's not that I didn't like it, it's just that it didn't work. It doesn't take makeup off whatsoever. Um, I just don't like it. I've tried using it on my whole entire face, like in the morning, maybe as a, I don't know, just to try it differently. And I have to rinse this off. This feels gross on your face if you don't rinse it off. Same with the face wipes. Like I just can't leave that on my skin. It felt, ick, ugh, felt icky. Um, it says, uh, what does it say? Hyperallergenic cleanses, removes makeup and soothes sensitive skin. Excellent tolerance. No rinse, paraben free, hypoallergenic, soak a cotton pad. These are all single period sentences. Cleanse, remove makeup from fo face and eyes, dry gently. This, nah, mm mm. And then the next two things, what did I do with them? Oh, they're right here. It came with a small thing of the Sensibio, I don't know is that what, what it's called. Sensibio, light, or does that mean light? I don't know. Soothing cream, moisturizes and protects. This is a decent face cream. It's just a really no frills, um, nice, soothing, calming, moisturizing. Felt nice on my skin. No scent whatsoever. This was actually really decent. I wouldn't go out of my way to buy it again, but it, there was nothing bad about it. I can't complain about it whatsoever. It'd be nice if it had some sunscreen in it, but it has no fragrance. It moisturizes nicely. Um, so this was a decent face cream, but I wouldn't go out of my way to buy it. Same thing with the eye cream. I actually depotted this because the thing that sucked about this is that it doesn't have a cap to recap it. And this is obviously more than one time use. It had a little pull off tab that you break off the top and it immediately started squirting out everywhere. So I poured it into this little jar or squeezed it into there. And the eye cream just says eye contour cream, sensitive skin, anti-puff, soothes and moisturizes. Um, this is the same thing as the face cream. It doesn't do anything special. It's really just a basic everyday eye cream. If you just want a separate moisturizer to put around your eyes, maybe your everyday moisturizer has sunscreen in it, fragrance or something that irritates your eyes. This was pretty decent just for a nice moisturizer under the eyes with no frills. No anti-aging benefits is what I prefer. Anti-aging benefits in my eye cream, but it was fine. It was fine. Wouldn't go out of my way in a million years to buy it though. So that is my little roundup of the Bioderma products I finally tried. The consensus, this line is not for me. Uh, I just don't know. I don't get it. I don't get the hype. I didn't, I just, I don't like any of these things. I'm very sorry. You know, some of them were decent, but I wouldn't go out of my way to buy them again. If you've tried Bioderma and you love it, please don't be mad. It's just my opinion. It's my experience. You know, all the things. Anyway, that is that. Thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Let me know your experience with Bioderma down below. I would love to know your thoughts. And I'll see you later in another video. Goodbye.